hello everyone welcome to the channel if you are facing this issue guys on windows 11 laptop or pc your window license will expire soon so this video is for you i will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue so first of all you have to close this okay click on close option so once you have closed since guys you need to right click on here the taskbar and open the task manager And once you open the task manager guys, we need to look for windows explorer right right here. We need to right click on it and simply end task. So once it is end task, the black window will be coming up. You need to click on new run new task and type here explorer. Explorer.exe make sure you run this task as admin and spelling should be ok and click on ok so once you run this now we can proceed with the next method it will refresh the all the setting inside our windows we have to close this now now simply open the cmd as admin ok run as admin and we need to type out the command slmgr space hyphen rearm this command will re-register your key okay once it is done you have to click on ok and also hit this command this will fix the windows corruption sfc space forward slash scan now you just need to hit these two commands guys we can go to the services now also you need to run as admin let the windows command run and we need to look for your windows license manager click anywhere on the services and type a w on your keyboard and look for windows license manager we need to scroll down you can see here windows license manager and just double click on it guys and make sure whatever the startup type you have set it you have to disable it which i have already done that you have to close this and stop the service then click on apply and click on ok ok once this setting is done and the command is done you have to restart your system and i'm pretty sure after applying these three methods three to four methods together your issue will be fixed if your issue is still not fixed guys after the restart so let's move on to the next method click on start menu then click on settings then we need to look for here the system click on that and under the system guys you need to go to the activation tab click on that and if you are able to see the troubleshooter setting here just click on the troubleshooter setting and it will fix the issue and also make sure the state of license is active here if it is not active so you can also run the windows troubleshooter windows update troubleshooter guys let me show you where you can find it click on troubleshooter then click on other troubleshooter and inside here we need to look for windows update just run it sometime windows corruption and latest windows can cause this issue as well so you have to run that and once it is run the once it is done you have to again restart your system and after applying these methods guys i'm pretty sure your issue should be fixed so i hope guys your issue is fixed after applying these methods if yes then hit like subscribe and share Thank you. Thanks for watching.